Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. Today we'll be jumping in. As ten, it lost checking out two new items from the Something Wicked pack. These two are pretty interesting. We've got the Light Shard and the Dark Shard. So Light Shard is Fire Additional Herming tier at a faster rate with reduced damage if Isaac has no damaged heart containers. And then the Dark Shard is if Isaac has no red hearts at all. I am playing as Tainted Lost here because then both of these items will be activated at once so we can showcase them as you can see here but obviously we have the additional risk of playing as Tainted Lost which is going to make things a little harder but I thought this would be a pretty fun little way to show off these pretty cool items. I love items that have like conditions to work under, especially ones like this that provide you with some herming shots or additional damage, especially when it's not just, I really like items that like, they give you a way of dealing additional damage without it just being a damage up. Um, tears up if you are about to take, if you're about to take fatal damage turn to China, no we don't want to be turning into China, I'm sorry. Um, we do have, what the hell's this? Uh, Flight damage, ooh, until you take damage. Okay, well, that's that's pretty goddamn good for us. Thank you. So that's just a bunch of stats that won't go away because we won't be taking damage. <laughs> um, yeah, some good stuff here. But yeah, like I really like items like sort of um, bugger shot and stuff where they give you additional damage without just straight up being like, his plus two damage. I think they're more fun. And this is definitely, uh, well, these two are definitely some of these items. And I thought it'd be cool to do a showcase that's a bit more powerful, but with both of these. And as I said, I was going to play as regular Lost, but I thought, you know what? Let's up the ante a little bit and play as Tainted Lost because of the power this is going to give us. And I thought it'd be a pretty, fu pretty fun little run here. We get, we get to do a bit of ying, a bit of yang. And now we actually have some physical wings attached to us, which is... Kind of nice to see. Dude, we had, we got so rich this floor. What the hell? The game was out to give us as much cash or as it could. You also can see as well that I started off with a holy mantle as well as having a holy card. And I have the wooden cross, which is... um I don't actually know which mod that is, I'll be honest. Uh, but it's nice to have. We can also grab all of these, which is rather nice. We'll, uh, we'll re-roll these two because neither of these uh, items really speak to me. Backpack... It can be good, but Diplopia, we know we want it. I will bomb you in the hope that I get something amazing. I'll take Spider Mod. Thank you, thank you. And yeah, we'll keep Diplopia for potentially a rainy day. Something that comes across to our table that looks pretty tasty. But yeah, so we have a bit of protection to start with, but that protection will dwindle pretty quick. Um, Wooden Cross is like the biggest help at the moment. But then again... The wooden cross is a really interesting idea because it's like, do you want to keep it or do you want to go with perfection when it comes along? It's kind of a hard choice to make. But you can see that these tiers are doing two damage each, so it is definitely diminished pretty heavily. Um, you're not going to be getting all the same damage that you would be otherwise. I don't know what this curse is that's on this floor. Is it actually going to apply? No, it didn't. Okay, and we get fettered hearts, which I quite like. I don't know when I'm going to hold on to Diplopia until, to be honest. That's kind of just in my back pocket for now until it seems appropriate. It's not very good, but I'll take the box anyways just to see if we can get ourselves some decent stuff. We do have to be pretty close to activate the Herming by the looks of it, which makes things potentially a little trickier. And we've got to still remember that we don't have Herming in our regular tiers. You be careful, you. You big B. He's not too bad, actually. He's not too bad. I'll pop that as well. That's not a temperance machine. Excuse me. I'll just crack both of these open right now. While held counts as one book towards the uh, bookworm transformation. Oh, that's kind of an interesting idea. Not that we need that right now, but bookworm is pretty good. And I suppose it's, it's kind of one of those trinkets where it's not a great trinket and it's pretty niche. But if you don't have a better trinket, it's worth holding on to. I kind of like those ideas for trinkets. There's a lot of those in base Isaac. It's why I think Something Wicked is a pack that, that does a very good job at like feeling quite vanilla-esque. Lockdown isn't ideal here. Um, for those of you, by the way, that haven't ever seen Something Wicked before or don't know where to find it, it is an unreleased mod, but you can go and download it via joining my Discord, going to the Isaac Repentance channel and looking in the pinned messages. The developer of the mod has given me full permission to let people go and download it that way. So if you want to go and try it out, please do. It's, it's, it's been an unreleased mod for a long time now. 
Um, but it's it's really, really high quality. It's a, it's a mod that I really, really enjoy. And it's probably in terms of quality and, like, staying vanilla-esque, it's one of my favorite mod packs out there for purely items. Torn is pretty good here. Um, ooh, it's Mega Blast. Mega Blast's kind of an interesting one here, because obviously we should take Mega Blast. But, but, Diplopia? <laughs> Um, I guess I'll just pop Diplopia, take Mega Blast, and then take the Enraged Soul as well. And I guess I'll see if I can take a second Enraged Soul and see if that does anything for us. But Mega Blast, an item I haven't come across in quite some time. I do wonder if it'll split off little Herming Shots as well, but I, I'd suspect not. I'd suspect not. Ooh, almost got hit there. Doing a pretty good job of not being hit thus far, though. Okay, so it doesn't split off the herming shots. Oh, no, no, it does. It does. It still fires them. I mean, not that they're going to be dealing the majority of the damage anymore, but it's still nice to see that it still fires them. Straight into the devil deal. And we get Kapala. Oh, my God. Kapala's really good. I like that a lot. We get a little burner baby as well. And, honestly, to up the ante a little bit in terms of difficulty, in terms of, like, losing my life, I am going to get rid of the wooden cross. I think this is a pretty strong run. I think perfection is going to be potentially more more enjoyable for us. And we did just get Kapala, which is an insanely strong item. Um, so, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Burner Baby doing some good stuff here. You can see how, how little damage the tears do. It isn't much, but you can see, like, Kapala there is, uh, sharing the damage of, uh, among enemies of the same type. Which is actually in incredibly common. Most enemies tend to be of the same type in rooms. But yeah, it basically means we only have to fight one of them at a time. Which alleviates the stress in a lot and a lot of rooms, to be honest. We've also got Enraged Soul, which I haven't actually used yet. We can fire that at enemies via double tapping. Takes a little bit to recharge, though, I think. Yeah, there you go. Just recharge now. Um, Isaac's bombs freeze enemies. I've never had that before. That's 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 kind of unique. I like it. I'll crack these open. Why not? Again, enemies of the same type almost always spawn in these waves. So we kill one, we kill them all. Yeah, C Capella might be one of the most broken devil items in the entire game. Because not only does it have that effect, but it also gives you a 1.5 damage multiplier, which I think is just entirely unnecessary, but if the game wants to give it to me, who am I to complain? The secret room. Oh, hello. When attacking, surrounds Isaac with a silver laser shot. That's nice, but I, I don't think that's going to help too much. Although, it kind of did help there, actually. Dude, we're getting so much money. Right, let's go back to the shop over this way, and we'll exit. We'll uh, quickly just go in here as well and check if there's anything worthwhile. Should be really careful picking up those coins, to be honest, because they can blow up when you pick them up on occasion, which I don't think would be the best idea for us to blow ourselves up. And did I ask a question of the day today? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Um, hmm. What's your favourite holiday of the year? Like, even if it's a minor holiday, what's your favourite holiday of the year? And why is that? Okay, unfortunately, two active items there. Not going to be great for us. Right, sorry, Wooden Cross. You are beautiful, no matter what you say, but I shall leave you alone and move past you. Let's do this uh, this little boss rush here. Ooh, plus damage. Yes, please. In fact, in fact. Unfortunately, the death animations are wasting our time a little bit here. Probably wasn't the best idea to do that, to be honest. I didn't didn't quite make it as far as I was hoping, but I do think Mega Blast is another item that probably shouldn't same same as the nerf to um to Mega Mush in the uh, rebalance pack I'm using. It probably shouldn't be able to charge while it's being used. It's quite strong that it can. Most of the time, you get at least half a charge back, sometimes more, just from using it. Dude, we have so much money. Why would you give me a, such a bad shop and then a goddamn keeper shop? Or greed shop, should I say. 
Oh, hello, good sir. Oh, God, the rocks. The rock slam almost got me. Hey, Sour Patch, although is that going to make our tears really small? It is. Super wee little baby tears. Yeah, so you've already got another charge for the next floor. Realistically, with a Mega Blast, you should only be able to use it like once every other floor, not once a floor, because it's, it's very strong. Which is not a bad thing. There is meant to be like really crazy strong items out there. I mean, we're seeing some of them in action like Kapala right now. But I, I don't know. I, I, I prefer I prefer stuff that doesn't let you so easily steamroll. But at the, same, at the same time, I'm a bit of a hypocrite, because although I prefer it, if, if the game gives it to me, I'm not going to not use it. I'm of course going to still use it. I ain't that good of a person. <laughs> I'm still going to use what it gives me. Right, um... Defibs, not bad. I think we're ready to go. I could just use Mega Blast right now to make it a lot faster to get to the boss room again, but that seems a little foolish. That seems more than a little foolish. I do really enjoy a Tainted Lost run, though. I don't know how many of you out there are uh, Tainted Lost fans, but I think Tainted Lost or uh, Tainted Keeper are my two favourite characters in the entire game. Just because both of them have such high potential, but such heavy risk. Tainted Lost, obviously, a much, much heavier risk. Ooh, we got a Planetarium this floor. Um, I love that mod that tells you when you have a Planetarium. It's very nice. Um, yeah, I'm going to say, obviously, the risk when you're playing with Tainted Lost is obviously much higher. Because with Tainted Keeper, you at least have the, the easy breezy heal. Oh, we did just finally lose our uh, holy card, though. So we are now at the point of, uh, of it being a bit risky. So we have to be a little more careful with how we play the game. But I think we've done good so far. I'm going to blow up a few of these and see if we can get ourselves a card. Teleporter 2.0, really? I gambled heavily on that by doing an item room rather than a secret room, but my gamble was not uh, not rewarded heavily at all. But you're going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Don't much like that. There's our planetarium. Lovely. Montezuma's Revenge. Why not? Ju Why is it always Jupiter? Why is it always Jupiter? It's always Jupiter. Picked up a Turk and then by accident. It's literally always. I'm not. I'm not taking Jupiter. It's. It's always goddamn Jupiter. <laughs> Damn. I, I like what. What I need. What I need so desperately is a mod that just removes Sol, Jupiter, and Mars from the planetarium pool. Like, bear in mind, I'm playing modded. I have tons of planetarium mods, modded items added to the game. And those three items still seem to be the only three in the planetarium pool that ever show up for me. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Thank you. Like, why? Ooh, 25% chance enemies will spawn ghosts upon death. Spawn chances... Uh, it's not affected by luck. Nice. Four soul hearts for that. Good. What is going on with our shops being so stinky? Ooh, the tears are red now. That's cool. Got to be careful here because one hit and we are toasted. Okay, we got him. You throw up your guts, good fella. You throw them up real good. That's not ideal. Um, Horde of Babylon, thank you. We are a permahaw. Don't do that every time I walk into a new room, please. That would be mighty devastating. We got an... Excuse me? We got another planetarium. Bish how? Oh, really? We brimstoned at the wrong time here. It's not ideal at all. Basically, this guy's going to waste our whole brimstone. 
even more so, he, he not only wasted the whole thing, he took longer than it to kill. How did we get two planetariums back to back? Is it because we ignored the planetarium? I, maybe, maybe it was. Right, drop down here real quick. Really? I think I've gotten pretty... Like, this run's good, but we have gotten pretty unlucky with some of our draws here. Our shops have been absolutely awful, and we have a ton of money. We've got Golden Teleporter 2.0, when we've already got an active. we just got that terrible crawl space that has nothing good for us in it. It's a little offensive, to be honest. Right, Planetarium. Venus. I actually quite like Venus. Venus is fine by me. You, good sir. Right, shop, you've got to be good. I've got so much money. Extension cable's also not a great item, to be honest. But I've got it now. Got to be so careful about accidentally walking into enemies. Death is inevitable right now. Get increased tiers range when all red heart containers are filled. Unfortunately, that doesn't do anything for us because we do not have red heart containers. No, that was so close. I almost died there. That was so, so close. Kapala is right now completely saving our life. Dude, this is well annoying. Get out of here, you creep. No way that thing killed me. Oh my god, that is very, very frustrating to see. Oh man, I really thought we could last a bit longer than that. Oh man, that's that's rather annoying. Let's let's just let's just carry on this showcase and rewind that bad boy. Because I really really despise these rooms anyways. But I want to continue on the showcase. Ooh, Bell Clapper, thank you. Finally something decent. I should check this card as well, to be honest. Let's have a little look see. Lovers. Which one's Lovers? Spawns an item from the current room. Convert. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Okay, we can go to the secret room and do that. Cool. Yeah, I gotta say, those rooms really annoy me anyways. And as I've said multiple times before, I, ooh, that's pretty good. I am much more the sort of person that is playing for fun and entertainment than I am for playing a legit run. We're spawning ourselves items in at the start of a run, and multiple of you have actually said to me in the comments that you commend me for doing that, like you actually like that I do that, so thank you. And honestly, if I'd have died in basically any other way, like if I, if I die in the next room now to a regular enemy, get hit, walk into it, whatever, I will wholeheartedly take my death and move on with my life. But, two reasons I didn't want to. One, episode under 20 minutes isn't the most satisfying, for at least for me. I like to try and make my episodes longer. That's kind of one of my selling points, is that I do full-length runs. Um, and also, dying to one of those goddamn coloured block rooms with the ghosts in it. I hate those coloured block rooms. They are the epitome of bad design, in my opinion. Um... So, I will not accept that. See now, this, that's a real death. That is a genuine real death. I made a mistake. I kicked the bucket. I should have used my Mega Blast. It was obvious. I should have done it. But there you go. We kicked the bucket a little early there. And that that is going to be our yin and yang showcase. A little bit of a shorter uh, showcase here. But I think we got a really good look at the items. I think that those two... Um, the Light Shard and the Dark Shard are really cool. Obviously, the likelihood of getting them both in a single run is very low, and the likelihood of them both being active in a single run is even lower, because I think in most cases and most characters, you can't have them both at once. I think it's only the Lost, maybe, that can have them both at once. I'm not entirely sure about that, um, but he's one of the only characters that I think would be able to work with it. And that's why I played Tinted Lost. I thought it'd be like a fun little challenge. And we ended up getting some really like lucky items. I mean, Kapala 
is like god tier. Mega Blast is pretty god tier. I really, I really should have used uh, Mega Blast on this fight here. It was taking a bit too long. I should have um, pulled back the risk. But I think that was a fun run nonetheless. I hope you guys did enjoy this a little bit shorter showcase. It happens from time to time, especially when we're playing risky characters. And I know some of you out there do like the shorter videos anyway. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.